So you're definitely asking yourself the question, how are queens created? Well, contrary to worker bees that are created in normal cells, the queen actually has its own specific cell called a queen cell. In a hive, you only want to have one queen. So when you see queen cells, it's definitely an indication that something's up. There are two types of queen cells. There are supersedure cells and swarm cells. In the case of the supersedure cell, a hive will build them when either there's no queen in the hive or the old queen is less productive and not laying enough. In the case of swarm cells, however, there's always one reason. It's that the hive wants to divide in two. And in beekeeping, we call that swarming. So how do you distinguish between these two types of cells? Let me show you. The general rule of thumb for distinguishing between the two types of queen cells is that supersedure cells are on the top of frames and in the center of frames, whereas swarm cells are at the bottom of frames. It takes 16 days to go from an egg to a queen, and she goes through multiple stages throughout those days. So here we find a queen cup. This is really the beginning of a queen cell, and the hive makes them all the time, and it's nothing to worry about. Here's a queen cup with a bit of royal jelly in it and a larva. It shows that the hive is serious about actually rearing a new queen. Swarm cells are much more frequent than supersedure cells. So I'd advise you to go check out our video on swarming to find out how to control it and what to do when you find queen cells.